what is uh there's something called like project blue beam yeah good one what uh, is that that is that's lasers right yeah i can i can actually talk about that one but that is uh uh <laughs> it's really bad but you know the people that see orbs in the sky yeah, uh, go around that fly faster. UFOs, than you know, UFOs. Yeah, the, there's there's navy pilots. There's an uh, yeah, multiple yeah, the, navy pilots who talk about them, like, they got their so they were flying F-18s. These these oh. navy pilots, and one of them's coming in here in a couple in two weeks. He's uh, oh. Ryan Graves. Okay, he uh, he's a navy pilot flying off the coast of North Carolina, and they they got their. Uh, their radar upgraded on their F-18s, and yeah. all of a sudden they were seeing these things darting around on their radar. Okay. Uh, don't tell him what I'm about to say and see if he knows about um, it. Okay. Um, so what we do is we play with our own forces to make sure our trickery will work on the enemy. Uh, and those are directed energy weapons of where we do intersecting beams or focus beams into the atmosphere and notice they're always in the atmosphere to excite the electron orbitals of the oxygen and, and nitrogen uh, in our atmosphere. And it causes a glow and it causes ionization. That ionization shows up on radar and like a, it's like a cat laser pointer. And we're making planes chase them. That's exactly how they describe these things moving, like laser pointers. Yeah. And so we can do it in three space. We can make it look like. In three dimensional space. Yeah. And we can make it look like uh, an entire fleet is about to drop bombs on, let's say, Europe. And then just have them disappear. And they ha they get all their planes up in the air. And we attack them from the other direction. Uh, assuming we're attacking Who Europe. is doing this? The Navy, you said? Uh, somebody, <laughs> let's just say a group, a group, you know, and you know this for a fact. I know for a fact. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, don't tell your guests. A group within the U.S. government. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Yes. And, and I, is this something, is this something that could be seen with the naked eye? Or yes. Or is this something because that Because only... it glows. It glows. So it would be seeable. You can see it by the naked eye and it would leave a radar trace. So it's perfect as a deception. Now, have you heard of the accounts of these things going underwater? These things c come out of the water, zip around, they fly. They, they, there's been accounts of these things going in between when there's two F-18s flying in formation. One of them, they're described as, one of them specifically, uh, which Ryan Graves describes mm -hmm. as, as a, a sphere with a cube inside. And each apex of the cube is touching the sphere. Okay, no, I don't know about that technology okay so that's different <laughs> i know you can make this appear as it goes in water uh but it wouldn't have the shape of a cube you can make them cigar shape you can alter it somewhat and i've worked on holography quite a bit but nothing is detailed holograms yeah holograms in three-dimensional space uh uh there's a japanese company so i can talk about the use femtum uh Fento uh, pulsed lasers uh, to create touchable holograms, uh, tiny little laser beams that excite the air and, and their midpoints and then create different colors. Even with now, is this something that they would be able to do on a massive scale? A hundred miles offshore? Well, that's the thing. I don't think so. But I'm saying they can just create, you know, little orbs and okay. split them up and make them do cool things and you know the razzle dazzle shocking off back to war right or, oh and you asked me about project blue beam well that's what it's about and, and it invo involves the voice of god weapons that i was talking about project and, blue beam does. and this got this got leaked uh, and so it probably won't have the effect and they probably won't do it but if you wanted to bring the world together as president reagan said in several un speeches you would have a common enemy like evil aliens attacking. We forget right. our differences right. and we fight against it. So we wouldn't look at each other as, as Chinese or Russian yeah. or American. We look at each other as earthlings. It's for humans. Yeah, as earthlings. And so that was Project Blue Bean was to trick the human race into believing either God is coming down, everybody hears the voice of God, the microwave hearing effect, uh, get along, give, you know, whatever the new message is. 
or it was going to be the evil aliens attacking. And notice how they all of a sudden, all the governments release all their information on UFOs, and there's a whole uh, division dedicated it. And that's just deception. It's just you think it's all deception? I think it's all deception. Really? Yeah. But, you know, that's my opinion. I, I've looked at all the videotapes mm -hmm. and uh, that people have given me, and I can explain away each one of them. So apparently, but there's there's apparently lots of footage and video videos and photos that have not been released to the public. Yeah, I haven't seen those, so I, I can't get And if you think this is all some sort of psyop, what do you think the ultimate purpose of it is? Distraction against a lot of this human experimentation we're doing. 